The Vaporeon of Let's Plays. <laughs> Let's Plays. And, uh, Hush Gothic. What do you say? I think this game is bollocks. Say, mate. This game is bollocks, I guess. So. It's right, bollocks. It's also. It's. It's what? It's sod or something. It's. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a. It's sodding. Oh, and there's the phone. This let's play is off to an amazing start. I don't think I can hear it, it's too quiet. I hope you can hear that phone. Anyway, this is Marching Gothic released on some console. And this is like not the console that Marching Gothic is on. Provided they can see that video. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know what. Okay, anyway, um. We just ruined one of the single best PS1 FMV intros. I love the intro of this game, and now it's completely destroyed. So anyone out there that wanted to watch this intro, feel free to go on the on the interweb and look up your own version of the intro. What you gobbin? I'm gabbing. What are you gobbin to me, mug? I'm gabbing I'm to your mug. I'll deck you, chum. <laughs> I swear on me, mum. <laughs> I'm playing the game now. Shut up. I'm trying to do my let's play. I'm trying to do my let's play for YouTube. Shut up. Hey, Mo. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Have you played Martian Gothic? Yes. Is it good? No. Well, I don't know. Not sure. Why ain't it good, mate? June 17, you know what else is not good? What? That. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's time to stop. No. It's time to stop. There was a point in time. It's time to stop. Where that should have been stopped, and we've clearly passed that point. I know. Um. Okay, this. We gotta is... have a. We gotta have a theme, you know. I well, gotta create a character for myself. Welcome to Martian Gothic. This is uh, Martian Gothic. I'm not done talking. It's yet. Gothic that's on Mars, and it's also a Gothic that's Martian type. Oh. This is a thing about space, and it's from an era of video games where things weren't what they seem. Oh. In another world, where things are always happening off camera. This summer. And forward on the gamepad makes your character run in whatever direction he's facing. Yep. Um, I hope you like weird controls. Because this is even weirder than Resident Evil. It's like Resident Evil got the tank controls right. This got the tank controls kind of wrong. It's a little hmm. bit different. Like it's it's sluggish, but it's sufficiently freaky. It's got a cool atmosphere. It's pretty happening. I like it. I, yeah. We'll see what's up in a bit. Uh, I've never beaten it. But I want to. I really want to beat it. I, it's something that's been challenging me for many years now. This game in particular. There's the phone again. The phone will shut up. There. Um. Yeah. So there's Martian Gothic. This is uh, the black man that you start off as. You can switch to other characters too. You can press select to switch wow. between uh, one of three characters, and they're all m moving around the base at like at the pace that you play them at. So you can solve puzzles you, between these three characters, and that leads to a lot of confusing, a lot of confusing little gameplay bits hmm. where you need to control all three of them. And um, another twist on this idea: uh, if uh, if if any of these characters meet, like in a room, they die. Yeah. You have to keep them away from each other, which is strange. Uh, here's our uh, little Wait. menu. But how do they die? Well, I don't know. I never had it happen yet. Okay. But they. Well, hopefully, we'll get to a point where we find out. Uh, like I said, I've never beaten it. Um, I've maybe uh, once we get to the furthest point I've played to, I will indicate. 
this is where I have no idea what's going on once mm-hmm. you get to that point, and then it will be blind. But as for calling this blind, it's not. It's I've read about it and played the first like two hours of it a million times in a row. Okay. Because I've never been able to really get anywhere. Yeah. On this menu, uh, your item selection menu, you can look at a brief little audio description of each one of these things. Uh, yeah, the voice acting. It's there, but it's it's not amazing. Yeah. As with anything from this generation, that's not Metal Gear Solid. Uh, you exactly. Yeah. Press O when you're walking to run really sluggishly and weird. Uh, press square to do a little useless kick. Hmm. That's going to save you from monsters. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Takes a while to even get a gun in this. Uh, another thing, it's kind of finicky how this works. Um, you see how at some points that little, uh, uh, magnifying glass icon will appear in the top right like it is now. That means you can examine something. Uh, a lot of the problem with trying to identify where certain items are and things like that, it's messing around until you can get that to appear. <laughs> like running around a table until, oh, there was something I could examine here, and then you actually do examine it. There was something in this helmet. A radio. I will take the radio. Hmm. Came a helmet. I took the radio out of the helmet. Yeah, um, there is a PC version of this game. I'm not sure if this is a port of that or the PC version support of this of this version. Yeah. But because like like it was with a lot of PS1 games. Um. Yeah, I'd imagine it's the PC version support. Seeing how this actually runs. So I never seen shit about this game. Uh, yeah, so you're blind, right? I've I've seen it once. Um just uh, Actually I think I've just seen the box art. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> wow, okay. So yeah, it's 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 pretty much blind for me. Though I'm not playing. Thankfully, because it's it's apparently kind of uh kinda harsh as far as puzzles go. Yeah, the uh, most facts I read up for this, the first few lines admit that the game is really tough to figure out on your own. <laughs> hmm. And that's what the facts are saying. Yeah. They're supposed to be making it simple. <clears throat> They're all like, good luck, and shit like that. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's not even Whoops. my phone. What the hell is that? <laughs> um, oh, shit. Hello? Yeah? No? I'm talking into a Wii U controller right now. Um, sorry, I, I can't really, I can't hear anything you're saying. I don't even know if there's anyone on the other side. Alright? Alright, no, no problem, thanks, bye. Oh, shit. Is this, uh... Ever what? since I got this controller, it's been... <laughs> It's, been <laughs> it's just Let's Play gonna be uh, plagued with uh, fake telephone rings that you find on YouTube because my partner here is using the Wii U gamepad to view game facts to help me. Yeah. And uh, that's and just, it's that's, loads of fun. That's just gonna lead to shitloads of uh, like uh, like like shit audio and stupid things to bother me. I can tell. Uh, I can't even remember what the hell happened there, because I was distracted. But I think I used the radio to make contact to the other team members, and this somehow gives me authorization to go into this shit. Mm -hmm. So, let's hit this thing. What is a shitty looking teleport? No, I think it's like a little uh, quarantine thing. You get ready to go into the base. Where the base where creepy things happen and we need to investigate. This is gonna end well. Is there like a cat on this base or something? I mean, the cat keeps scaring me. Like, Whoa, it's just the cat! There's yeah. something zany like that. Anyone alive? Or dead? A 
if you're dead? Don't answer. Dead man. Well, he's covered in white powder. Somebody, uh, somebody must have like taken a baby powder and poured it all over. Him. I guess there's nothing there. Yeah, it's not my problem. Hmm. I like all these. Uh, green tag. Uh, get a green tag. Do we have a green tag? I don't think we do. No. Uh, I like this, uh, like PS1 games are like a pre-rendered, uh, Resident Evil Metroid kind of thing, finding keys and going back games. Mm -hmm. I have a penchant for them. Oh yeah, I like, can <laughs> that much is obvious. Like this, this shit and, uh, Overblood. You oh, ever yeah. see that? Uh, <laughs> you know what Peepo on that? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm, maybe I'll get it on eBay and play it. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even scared by any of it. It's this weird, mm. weird little thing. Yeah, a health boost. Give me that. That's good for when the violence goes down. Well, you like you like Metroid. You like uh, Resident Evil. You like Martian Gothic sorta. Of. You like uh, you like the new Castlevanias, um, Metroidvanias. You like. Yeah. What else? Like free roaming first person shooter uh, RPG things. And key marked M -E -G. It's just nothing but that. 900% of the time, so. <laughs> That's because I like going back. Yeah. To shit. I like, I like uh, games that uh, have uh, nothing to explore, but uh, they make you go back a shit zillion times to find things. And make you remember a copious amount of crap. Mm -hmm. Just to make it tough to overcome it. There's a basketball down there, look. And a really big book. <laughs> look how big that oh. book is. What's in that book? Can we inspect it? No. No. It's just 2D. Is this the key for this? Did it work? Oh, I need the green tag. Okay, let's tag it up. See if we can get a green tag somewhere. There's some poor shit we gotta do to get that. The bulkhead's sealed. If one's sealed, they'll all be sealed. The only way to this is a piece of text I heard a zillion out. times. Because I keep doing that thing where I mash an X to get out of it. Mm -hmm. And I accidentally get him to say it again. Yeah. And he just says it over and over. Drab voice. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah, great thing about this. The viewers can probably hear it. Or or not hear it. Because there's not much sound in this game. It's kind of weird. Like, this is pretty much silent. Mm -hmm. This game has a, makes good yeah. use of sound. Yeah. Uh, nothing there. Uh, nothing interesting. Uh, nothing I can use. Uh, there's a chess piece, I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, what's this? A dart? I'll take that dart. <laughs> Man, what even? There's a, a note. Okay. This is a, these little vac tubes is how you transport items to other areas of the game world so mm -hmm. that the other characters can get it. Oh, <laughs> oh, mm. look at that. Mm. Oh, look at that. We're not, mm. we're not even. Shut up. Someone's talking to me on Steam. We're not even recording on PC and we're getting Steam notifications. <laughs> That's damn amazing. It. We got some innovation going on here. Park Lane is written in capitals. Could be a password. <laughs> Shut up. Um. Another thing about this game is that uh, if you design a game where you need to collect items and then go back and then use those items, you tend to uh, 
have just as many items as the character needs mm -hmm. to beat the game. Well, this game doesn't. This game has uh, red herring items. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> just to frig with you. There's items you get in this that don't do anything. <laughs> and you're getting to the end of the game and you're like, what the hell am I supposed to do with this conspicuous as hell shit that looks like it's supposed to do something with it? You know, I, I always thought, like, when I was a kid, I always thought that was a good idea. I wonder why more people didn't do it. But, like, honestly, it, it's just... It, like, something about playing a game... Uh, makes you automatically think that everything has a use. Yeah. And uh, makes you... Like, the more things you have to try to use with every little... Uh, try to utilize with every little thing, the more drawn out uh, the experience is going to be. So. I like it when everything has a use, but it's not immediately obvious. Mm -hmm. Like, uh... Um... Uh, there was this item in Dark Souls that everyone was flipping out about because it didn't have a use. Um, yeah, I the know, thing you I got know. in the Painted World, and uh, yeah, it, it's just like it, it should be. It should give you access to some, some kind of extremely hard secret level, <laughs> some kind of secret boss. Yeah, and it's so secret and so hidden that uh, <laughs> no one finds it to till like three years later. Yeah, that that would be good. Yeah. Just adding a little something like that uh, improves the longevity of a game. The longevity? Longevity. Not longevity. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, just, uh. Like, it's better that three years later you read up on this game and you're like, wow, there's new stuff being discovered? I should play that again. Yeah. And then maybe more people will buy it. This guy's got one bulbous chest. What goes? Yeah. Then again, it's easier to just, like, uh, release uh, um, DLC every once in a while. Yeah. It's just, just uh, charge for, like, a new level or something. Because they pretty much compl completely replace secrets now. Something wrong with the computer override, whatever. I don't know. There's always something wrong with everything. And yeah, we gotta get this person out using another person. Maybe it's this person, I don't know. Hmm. Let's find out, be, shall we? There must be an IT guy in this group. You mean the Chinese fella you can play as there? Yeah. Hey, can you hack this door? Sure thing, or something. Oh wait, so there's a black guy, a Chinese guy, and a yeah, this um, woman's like this quintessential uh, Russian James Bond lady type thing. Okay, so the white person's a woman. That's yeah. even more for us. Yeah, excellent. This person, she I sounds like a, she sounds like she should be like smoking a cigarette on a long stick. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the gun in this first gun you get is called a piccolo. Hmm. That sounds intimidating. Yeah. I'd cower at it. The piccolo. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing in the helmet. Oi, I feel like a fly being sprayed by a fly dope stuff, whatever that's called. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, we gotta use Kenzo to get the computer working. 
Tenzo. That's his name. Alright. <laughs> Controls. What do you got? Orange tag. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's walk backwards. It says Felici on his name badge. So this guy's Felici, I guess. Yeah. You guy's looking at me. What are you looking at? Let's see you over there. <laughs> uh. Is I'm just tired. You still need the green tag. God damn it. Get over here. Let's see what the hell this is. Where's that note? Oh, he's saying stuff. Mm. A little long. Yeah, that's pretty sad. What happened to all these space guys? Yeah. Poor dudes. But trying, he, he could have made it shorter. Just trying to do the space science. The space yeah. business. Look what happened. Well, he couldn't have been a very good space scientist if he didn't know how to record a short message. Summarize it properly. Yeah, okay, look. Well, call me See that body? Oh. It's floating. How though? I can hear him speak in my mind. So we've got reanimation, telepathy, and levitation. Now I call that download supernatural. Alien Okay. Are you on something, Kenzo? I think it kills you if you go near it, I'm not sure. Hmm. So I'm just gonna avoid it for now. It looks like it. It looks like he's uh This is what we need to use the orange tag for. Oh, okay. The door is an orange. Okay. So tags open doors. So tags open doors, huh? Oh. Hmm. So uh when you meet another one of your group members, what happens? We're gonna find out. Oh. Well you got the internet at your fingertips, you figure it out. No. Okay, don't then. Ass. No one calls me a butt. We'll have to figure it out when it happens then. Not a butt. Damn it. Jeez. Nice desk. Shame about uh, it's just locked. What I said was a variant on butt. Okay. Not butt specifically. That's a cool painter. Mm. Yeah. That guy's got a long dick. He has to wrap around his uh, waist like that. Yeah. Pretty cool. Base director's quarters. Yeah, we don't need to put anything in there. What else is there to discover here? Nothing. Nothing. 
Well, that's space computer. That is one Maybe. future computer. Yeah. You use a uh, Felici's voice recorder thing to activate the computer. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank God. And that's the kind of puzzle that's going on here. Yeah. It's like I have this recording of this guy's voice, and you use it to access the computer, and it doesn't really say it. <laughs> but what? What was his password, and why did he say it in his uh, I don't know. His what the hell? Recording by Judith Haraway. Let's play this. It's Haraway. Listen. People clumping together. There was hope in Pandora's box too. Oh. It was just kind of crammed in the corner and, and a little bit uh, moldy. Yeah, you you kind of had to scrape it off. Stay alone, stay alive. Alright. Let's, uh, do a thing here. Okay. Beat up her. Info mesh. Wow, look at all these buzzwords. Yeah. Yes. There we go. Oh, yeah. Thanks, bro. They're out of the box now, Karn. But Decontamp 3 door won't respond. We'll have to find a way to unlock Decontamp 3. I wonder if uh, we'll ever have uh, concave screens. I don't know. Once I they get big enough, it's kind of have to... You can bend screens as much as you want now. Yeah, I know. There's no reason to. Like, I know. It'd have to be like flat is flat is flat. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but still, once they get big enough, I think you'd have to make them curve over. Yeah, like a theater. Mm -hmm. Uh. Oh no! Why are you using my computer? I need to save my game with this computer, but I can't even remember how. Oh. Oh yeah, Marsh yeah, you have to click this. Save game. Twelve saves free. Hmm. Marsh and Mayhem 2 was... Yeah, it's over at this file. Is that... Is that a video game? So when you save Martian Mayhem's uh, progress, you save all the progress. Yeah. When you're saving know? the game, you save for real. Is that us? Eh? There we go. Okay. Yeah, I do have an old file on here, maybe. Okay.